It's only been up for seven seconds. Episode three, working out the kinks. I'm Freehand Prophet. I'm Dano. And this is Air It Out. Yes. Well, look, you, you told me that I, sh- I should wait to smoke until know, the show well, started. It was a half an hour ago. The show has yeah, started. My bad. So, is this preloaded? Uh, it is not preloaded. That would have been cool. That would have been cool, yeah. but uh, we're not there Just yet. Pass me that one. I got you. Uh, what, are, what are we smoking on today? Some uh, Mendo Fruits uh, Field Extracts. Thanks to Grass Door, Green Door. That's fucked up. I should know that. Yeah, that's the best delivery. What you doing, Frankie? That's right my now. phone. You looking for yours? Ah, I got you. I got you. All right, yeah, I'm excited to have some smoke. I haven't smoked for what since lunch. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, give me that list really quick. I'll take your phone. All right, we want we had a couple of things we were talking about last week that we want to close out before we even move on to this week's discussion. Uh, those what the MMWs? <coughs> oh yeah, we've seen those popping around a little bit more. Yeah. Today you sent me this one of uh, Tiana Taylor with her shattered backboards in the MMW outsole. Zoom in on that. Oh yeah, I got you. I like that. It's a good combo. It's obviously not a high res pick, but uh, we know enough about those. No, and but seen other fl- shoes in that's there. That's an interesting flex, I would say. Hell yeah! I mean, she look her One style is always, pairs. always on point. So for sure, yeah, no surprise there. But one of the the coolest pairs I've seen in that those little covers. Dig it! I dig it. All right, yeah, what do we got next? Oh, uh, last week we were talking about your top three Nike IDs. I wouldn't say they were my top three. Okay, fair enough. That's, that's I would a, just, there were just three that's I brought a in. cherished uh, acclaim that we yeah. can't just be throwing out yeah. there like that. What's your favorite movie? <laughs> what's, what's, yeah. your fa- what's your favorite movie? Uh, all right, let's just start with uh, the Air Force One. Yeah, you forgot your pairs last week, so we're going to go over yours now. Yeah, we're going to go over some of my favorite Nike IDs that I've done over the years. And uh, Dano told me that I couldn't bring in all three pairs as Air Max 90s, so uh, we'll mix it up a little bit. But most of my favorites are still my Air Max 90 IDs. Um, let's see. We got the... Uh, Air Force One high IDs done in kind of a Tiffany colorway. Daniel's telling me I got to get it a little bit higher. Yeah. There we go. Um, we got some crocodile leather here. Suede ice day. There you go. Just a clean colorway. Quality materials. Nice gray suede on the back. Uh, I was telling Dano yesterday, I think this like dark gray this charcoal uh ice day is probably the the piece that i think ties it all together and makes it not just a basic like if that was a solid black this would look like a basic ass nike id yeah and i was really interested by you saying that because yeah it is a nice suede the materials in these are really nice in general i was surprised i have a couple pair of nike id air force ones but uh Tiffany Crocodile, I do not have. Like this is definitely a very unique option yeah. that you jumped on. Um, but no, I don't even see it as that big of a difference in terms of color. There's even black right next to it. I don't even see that oh, see, dramatic I, I, of a shade difference. But it makes a shoe. It for makes you. a big difference for me. Yeah. Just that little bit of nuance can can take a shoe to a to a different level for me. No, these are sick. All right. Oh, and of course we got the uh, mini tut lace lock. Some old school shit right there. All right. Yes. He's a fucking wild. Yes, sir. 
KD4, Nike IDs. Uh, they had Year of the Dragon options. And so we got a Dragon logo going through the KD logo on the back heel. And the uh, this wave, this signature wave across the strap. I kind of... It's wild details. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what did you roll on this? That is the... What, am, what do we got here? Good flower... Uh, oh, that's the Samoa. This little. is just the Samoa. That's just the Samoa. This well, tastes crazy. Uh, that's probably some of the field extract. You know how you get a little bit on the uh, oh, yeah. the dab tool? I Did wiped it on the up. paper okay. before, uh, you know, clean up, but waste not, want not. Uh, but yeah, oh, the shank on these with the dragon scales is gorgeous. Dude, I was looking at that yesterday, knocked on it. It's, that's a it's serious a solid shank. shank. Dude, yeah. yeah. It reminds me a little bit. I mean, it's stupid to say, I guess, but the Adidas torsion bar thing where it was just was so stiff. This thing is like insanely stiff. It's not just like a carbon fiber thing. It, you can tell it's thick and it's not going to bend. Well, and okay, you know, we were just talking about, I was talking about that charcoal having that nuance. You know what these are missing to me? And, and maybe I just end up customizing them at some point, but they need like a little bit of dark green in them. If they had the dark green, they'd, they'd have a sushi vibe because this okay. totally has that like the fresh salmon. salmon. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So like a little salmon. little bit of dark green. Maybe a little, oh, some wasabi laces or something in there would, okay. would be fine. The wasabi. Yeah. The ginger lining. You could have had a whole thing going here, yeah. Yeah. If only we could go back and do it again. <laughs> <laughs> With Nike ID. Yeah. How, what year was this? We were saying the LeBron 9 was probably same out the same Same year as time. LeBron yeah. 9. Um, this dragon shit on the back. We 2012? Like I want to say, I could be I could be way off. This guy's all asking if we want some Shake Shack. I'm uh, smoking weed. Do you think I want Shake Shack? Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I'm good right now. I'm just gonna do the show. Yeah, the dragon detail here. All right. Thank you, Frank. So. Of all my Air Max 90 Nike IDs. How many? Too numerous to count. No, there's probably like maybe maybe a dozen, probably less for now. Um, oh, yeah, my bad. I'm sitting oh, on yeah. that. This tastes amazing. So this is, these were done with when they had the reptile pack for the materials. So we got the snakeskin mud guard. We got the crocodile leather toe box and tongue. Uh, and these are inspired by the Walk of Fame Brooklyn Project SBs. Okay. So these laces are actually from my pair of uh, SBs. Um, I don't know how I had not noticed that you had put SB laces in those. In, in a now. pair of 90s? Yeah. yeah, it's not a bad look. Uh, I did actually customize these a little bit myself with uh, gold leaf on the swoosh and uh, the Air Max heel tab and windows. But yeah, this is this is easily one of my favorites. They're holding up pretty well. Anyway. All right, is that it for Nike ID talk right I now? I think that's it for Nike ID talk for a while until I order another pair. Let's go to the the slideshow here. Oh, well, look. Okay, we're going to go right into this. Dano, let, let's make sure they can see your shirt, because uh, Dano's a big Coming to America fan. Like, that's... We were just jokingly saying, what's your favorite Shout movie? Shout Butter, by the way, for this amazing release. Uh, well, appropriately enough, because we'll be talking about them later as well, <laughs> for the Ghostface mask that released today. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um... But this has been uh, a little love-hate situation over here with the release of like these I've never uh, experienced Freak before. Ones. I'm completely torn. I don't like the Freak Ones. I don't like them right off the bat. Uh, that at, at least that first color, that orange with the blue and the the big swoosh and the, I, it's just 
Is it because the swoosh like is backwards? Shoes, is that the right like, No, it's not that it's backwards. They've done like giant They've swooshes done, right. on all kinds of shoes before. Sure. But like just the way this was ended up, I don't know. But I can't stand the fact that it's a Coming to America collaboration, and I fucking love Coming to America. You know, grew up watching it. Well, well, I mean, and take a look at the details. And there. I like leopard stuff. I'm wearing leopard Air Max Ones right now. There you go. So you're going to get them, right? No, I'm not going to get them. You're going to get them. I'm going to keep telling myself mm-hmm. that I'm not going to get them. Okay, em. so here's my question to you. At what point do you love what they did with the release enough to just get it? Maybe not for your feet, the but release. just for your Coming to America collection. Just Dude, because, just like... The fact that it has Coming to America written across the tongue... The subdued uh, leopard shit is dope to me. It's a very good look. And on top of that, look at these tongues. These tongues look like... like all fluffy uh, and soft. Yeah. They I remind know. me of your KD-12 tongues. A little bit. A little bit. But so even like, fluffier. That's, so, that's another point towards yeah, why I, you should probably get them. I can't stand it because I don't like... That's a good look right there. Didn't like that that's shoe. Clean. That's good design from the back right there. That's a nice ass Got shot a nice on the shoe. Ass. <laughs> Nice dump of baby She's got doll. A nice ass. Uh, what is it? Velvet? That might be the the fluffiness is a velvet nod. Because velvet wouldn't be that actually comfortable, I don't think. On the tongue. But like this fluffier version of a velvet. Like a yeah. loose like a loose velvet. Loose l- real loose velvet. Real loose velvet. Uh on air it out after dark we talk loose velvet plus i'm like getting over like a lot of translucent stuff as it you know always just yellows and gets old so i'm I'm not immediately gonna jump on a shoe that has a clear outsole even though i used to because it was just you love it it, yeah it's amazing but you just hate it i hate it as it ages now it's funny that you say that because i will be more likely to buy an icy shoe icy sold shoe if I think the yellow age will work with the rest of the colorway. For example, my GMP sixes, which I just wore. Now I customize them, but the whole reason I got those sixes was because when that ice sole yellows, it's just gonna be a golden tone. And so it works with the rest of the shoe. And so a big factor in when I'm buying a shoe is, how is it going to age? And is it going to look better with wares? Because that's all I want to do. I want to wear them. Absolutely. It's something I consider as well. So yeah. you're saying this has low wearability factor for you. But you, okay, I mean, come I on. don't do Here's that. the slide. Yeah, yeah, dude. Here's the slide. There's too many good details. So like... You don't want this giant gold coming to America Nike shoe yes. box in your yes, shoe I room? Do. Yes, I do. Okay. I'm this is this is this is okay, we'll go to that next. But But yeah, when I saw that too, question. it was like, God damn it, with this good marketing. I've never been like so sold just by the collaboration before ever in a sneaker. I think I've been blessed and cursed with the things that I love most have not seen like sneaker collabs like i'm a big anime fan but i'm not into dragon ball much so that adidas release didn't worry me but if that had been worry you like like you didn't have to get excited and be i like, didn't oh, have yeah i didn't have like, to i didn't get those i didn't ones. have okay, to secure yeah. what 10 12 pairs <laughs> like yeah, yeah it was a lot so uh if that was a Full Metal Alchemist set, I'd have to lock down every pair. If they did a Cowboy Bebop collaboration, sneaker collab, like it'd be over. Because Betsy would want a couple pairs. I need a couple pairs. I need a couple pairs for a mask for every character. Like, go bankrupt just for that type of shit. So Mm -hmm. I haven't, I haven't experienced that yet. And then them bringing it to like a sneaker that I don't care about is a whole nother thing and that's why i like i like egging you on to like where is this gonna fall where because they did they did a great job and if they had done this treatment on any other sneaker it'd be a no-brainer for you absolutely i would buy most any other shoe like immediately you do you despise the shoe that much it looks good in this iteration 
is the thing. It doesn't look so good. You, and you don't we, have we to saw it the other day at the store, the, the orange one. Yeah. And you don't have to buy other iterations. You just got to buy the like coming to yes. America. <laughs> <laughs> and when somebody asks, why, are th- why is that in your collection? You just say. Uh, so are the rose petals real? Do you think they're... No, of course I, not. I'm Those are... Around. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Lord, I hope not. You want to talk <laughs> yeah. about yellowing the yeah, soul yeah, faster. Oh How about some decomposing yeah, I, plants in your shoe yeah, box? I got a big box of moldy shoe. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, how so do yeah, you so get we'll rid of aphids <laughs> on the Freak One? <laughs> this isn't what I signed up for. All right. On to the next one. All right. So I'm not a big Arizona iced tea fan, but I've definitely, it's always been something that you notice going into the convenience store and shit. And it's a, it's a beautiful colorway, like as yeah, far that, as their branding what, is goes. Is this the young one? Yeah. yeah well, that. it's two young ones, right? It, the one in the back there is a young one as well. This one, like the can, yeah, is now, so well done. The Continentals, I like too. You gonna get both? Huh? You gonna get both? I'm not gonna get any because okay. they're gonna go for a dollar in New York, and they're gonna sell on StockX for how much you think they gonna go? They're for? gonna sell them for a dollar. They're going for a dollar. Look, they ain't playing with you. Great buy, ninety nine cents. I know, but that means they're selling them for ninety nine cents. No, that's what they're actually reporting. Is that they're selling pairs for ninety nine cents? Like at one promotional party. That's uh, from what I hear. That's all that's happening. Okay, this is amazing. So yeah, yeah. talk about a come up and like, like w- w- I'm saying, what the flip on that is going to be is going to be insane. Not that like that's what matters. Like if I had a chance, if you, if you were telling me that it was uh, out here in L. A. Yeah, I'd go try to get a pair of these young ones, or 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 the. It is the Continental, right? Yeah, the Continental is the other one. Yeah. Really. Um. Oh, that's the next one. So oh, we should. Uh, wait. We yeah. Haven't got, I haven't gone to the images of this. Okay. Bet. For people to see. Yeah, we're talking about these. Yeah, the young ones, and it's not. <clears throat> It's nice that it's not just printed on. It's actually the it's embroidered. So that's a yeah, again a quality detailed. pair. Like super detailed. Like that's nice and fresh and bright. But like as that pair ages, it's gonna look just as good. There's the full set. Yeah. And then we got the tag right there. Yeah, the tag is crazy. Now, I'm also looking, I'll though, be at a like, little, like, it looks a little sloppy. It does a look a little bit loose. But, like, No one likes a loose limited. tag. <laughs> yeah, they do look nice. This is a They're great gorgeous. color combo. All right. Yeah. No, talk about Pineapples another and shit. some crazy <laughs> under the sea, right? Uh, another kind of crazy pack. Another, I'd say, good storytelling, right? So that's that's three different releases that we've talked about that uh, are really good storytelling through the use of materials and colorways. So uh, this is the Kyrie SpongeBob pack. We got what five pairs coming from this? Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah, let me know. Uh, Now, did we find out that these are, in fact, the Garys? Do I need to get a pair of these teal joints? Might have to. You might have to. No, no, they are the... They say the crap. Oh, oh, um, okay. I don't know his name because I don't watch... Krusty? No. no, no, that can't be it. Uh, you're, ta- you're you're taking your guesses further and further <laughs> away from the microphone. Very interesting use of materials and textures. The pink joints are out of the. Oh, the world. Patricks are exactly what I want. Wait, we gotta get this. Wait, does it look? Did they actually give a treatment to the strap as well? It looks like. What kind of treatment? 
Yeah, they said Nickelodeon is printed I on I see there. that right there. We got that in the... Sorry. What's on the tongue? The tongue is... Uh, that's the Kyrie logo, right? A new one, maybe? You can kind of see it better in this slide. Interesting what they did with the swoosh here. His name is Mr. Krabs. His name is actually Eugene. Eugene it, yeah, Krabs. It, yeah, Eugene H. Krabs. But you're, it, the restaurant is or Krabby Patty or whatever? The Krusty Krab. Oh, the Krusty Krab is, is the name of the restaurant. The I gotta keep looking this and show. they serve Krabby <laughs> Patties. Y'all probably know that way better than we do. So what are, what are these then? That's what I'm saying. Those are, those are Mr. Krabs. Okay, but what I'm talking about are these teal joints. No, no, that's Squidward. His neighbor. And those, oh, and those the last gotcha. Ones are the, the angry motherfucker? Yes. The angry okay. motherfucker who plays like the clarinet. <laughs> Making up for lost facts. And then the, the white pair is the squirrel joint. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, those are the, great. Le the least interesting to me. It's Although they have that cool like flower accent, but no, it's yeah. all about the. It's a it like I think as far as like completing the pack and and representing that character, that's that's pretty great right there. Use of use of colors on this on these models. Okay, uh, going back to something else that we talked about. Yes, last couple of episodes was the. Uh, my bad. <laughs> oh. uh, all types of bad. Good luck. Here we go. Boom. Get one. Here we there go. we go. There we go. All right. That's can, a grid can, right there. Yeah. So we first week I brought in the side A's and the side B's. We talked about those. The Air Max 90 Euro release. Uh, and last week I teased that I was putting together a what I call my side C. What you looking for? Oh, you got that there. But. So this here, this grid is the top 10 of, to me personally, some of the greatest, some of the greatest. Maybe not the top 10, top 10, uh, but my favorites here. So. We got the Warhawks, we got the Tongue and Cheeks, we got the Bacons, the Duck Camos, Huff Quakes, the Infrareds, the Red Velvets from the Anniversary Pack, the Roundel Londons, the, uh, I've seen these called the Howls, they're uh, Velcro, olive, and uh, black perforated leather. And at the bottom, just because that's the story that we're continuing, it's the side A's from that mixtape. Uh, so, Oh, that's not it. <laughs> Where are we at, Dano? You going to a different folder? Maybe. I see him. We're back in. Boom. There we go. This is the side C. These look. These are a lot. These these are a lot. Uh, we have for the swoosh. It's the see-through swoosh from the tongue and cheeks with the. Uh, snakeskin pattern from the Atmos pair. Yes. Uh, obviously the duck camo suede. Uh, the black perforated leather from the Velcro Howls. Uh, the red velvet tongue. Uh, infrared um, eye stays. Warhawk teeth. Uh, bacon colorway on the logo as well as a Velcro patch. Uh, we got a little infrared to uh, like a bone fade on that lining with the perforated leather like the tongue and cheeks. Yeah, go to the top view. Yeah, this shit looks wild from the top. So the insole is from the Roundel Londons. Uh, from the Huff Quakes, I took a little, uh, a little bit steer from the classic instead of the actual earthquake texture. I put in the elephant print. Uh, and the embroidery and tongue treatment from the, the side A's. Dude, it looks sick. Yeah, 
I would. These need to happen. I don't know Is how the hell. Is there any way you could bespoke something like this at all? I mean, it's a stretch. I think I think the hardest part actually would just be finding du the duck camo suede. So maybe maybe it wouldn't be too hard. It would be a lot of work, a, a crazy amount of work. Um, well, yeah, and I don't know how you would necessarily. You'd have to custom cast the soul. Yeah, to have a see-through soul with with infrared yeah. in those places and For sure. elephant print. No, this would have to come in. from a Nike. Yeah. To have it the way you yeah, want. Yeah, it would have to be. Like maybe maybe they could do something similar on the bespoke Air Max One, but yeah, I've seen some wild shit done over there. Yeah. All right. What you talking about? Talk about this cotton mouth. Uh, let's see. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Did bring it back to the SpongeBob for sure. Yeah. Dude, you brought this out. This was part of, uh, this was one of my Mass 365 days. So this was 2009, 2010. Uh, and I did a series called the Gorilla Art Squadron, GAS, obviously. Uh, and it's a bunch of different animals usually, but some of them are iconic characters like, like Spongebob here. That was uh, a request from uh, one of my followers. And yeah, dude, so it's ridiculous, dude. Gary as the as the air canister. Yes, it's yeah, ridiculous. I, I did. I did enjoy that there. Uh, the SB dunks he has on feet are kind of a little custom uh, like what if, which is uh, the first mask I ever made, was made out of the Green Spark SB Blazers. Okay, yeah, yeah. And I thought, okay, what would the Green Spark SB Dunks look like? And so I put them in those. They remind me of my Doctor Feelgoods. Yes. That yeah, I miss John my Doctor Feelgoods. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad that yeah. neither of us have them anymore. Yeah. It makes me feel better. I'm. I'm. <laughs> it makes me feel better that we're yeah. both. In, well, yeah. misery loves company, right? <laughs> I can't believe <laughs> that I that I, I passed the them the on. <laughs> I can't believe I passed them on instead of chopping them down for a mask. Yeah, I'm surprised. Yeah, that's mask. how it played out. Fantastic. Uh, let's see. Speaking of masks, uh, released two masks this week. Released. Uh, yeah, released a mask with Quix, who's an uh, artist in the Philippines, and he does a lot of uh, really cool mech characters and toy releases. Uh, and he hit me up to do a collaboration for this show at Secret Fresh um, using game-worn jerseys and sneakers from the PBA, uh, which is the, the basketball league out there. Uh, so... We, me and Quix uh, collaborated on a full-size Tech helmet. Tech is the name of his character. Uh, and using shoes worn by uh, Gabe Norwood. And this is the result. It's the uh, Agamot uh, LeBron 14s and Soldier 12s. So it's two pairs built on a base helmet that Quick sent out. I'm not on the images right now. It's He's, yeah. Dano's telling me to, to stop flipping through. That's all right, though. I'm going to use this time to pull up a really good shot of it so when he gets it all worked out, we're there. Well, so let's talk about something else. Sure. Uh, well, we don't need a picture for this. We can uh, show off the elephant sample that we've been working on. So later this year, through Freehand Profit Studios, we'll be releasing uh, this nine-inch vinyl toy uh, based on the elephant mask that I made out of three Lab Fives. And this is the first sample that we <coughs> excuse me first sample that we got back from the factory. So we have a few changes to make, but we're really excited about where we're at with it and uh, looking forward to bringing that out. We're back. All right. Great. Show that off to the front camera again. 
Yeah, this thing looks wild. It, I've seen his prototypes that are made in a, from a different process, and they're so much like heavier. It was wild to like pick this guy up. He's so big, but like so light. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the vinyl toy for you. I I do want to uh, give it a little bit more weight. Uh, that's one of the things that we're gonna work on. But it's all a process, and uh, part of this show is sharing that process with them. So you said we were all pulled up, huh? Should we yeah, should we go back to the mask? Well, I, I pretty much gave the uh, gave the spiel, so uh, I'll flip through the photos, and you can uh, kind of chime in, and uh, if you have any questions, I'll. Yeah, this thing looks Let sick. You know. Yeah. And were, were these made from game worn? Shoes? Yes, yeah. game worn. Uh, the LeBron 14s were game worn. The Soldier 12s were not. That was a pickup from StockX because I wanted a little bit extra material. And it was a good compliment to like mix those materials. They were such a, a close uh, compliment. Dude, yeah, it looks great. Some detail shots of the uh, gold leaf faceplate. Yeah, Dan was gonna just uh, let me let me talk about mass the whole show. Uh, I'm gonna spark this joint while he's gone too. That way I can chief it by myself. Oh, Frankie's gonna sit in. All right, sit in, Frankie. Dano's back. So, uh, oh, we're on to Ghostface. We're on to the Ghostface Extra Butter. Yeah, this thing looks amazing. Thank you, sir. Yeah, so it was a Ghostface Extra Butter collab with ASICS. Uh, the shoe was the Gel Light MT. I think it's Mountain, right? Because it's a little bit, little bit off road. A little bit heavier yeah, duty. Yeah, with like the buckles and the, it's uh, got a heavy and tread. And the sole. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There you go. Uh, and the, the sock liner as well. Um, yeah, they were out of my size by the time I got to the booth to get these. I was super bummed. I bought four pairs on StockX. Four pairs of these? I have one pair. I made a mask out okay, of another okay. pair. I gave Betsy a pair. And uh, I gave uh, the homie Aka pair. So that year for Christmas, everybody got the fucking Ghostface A6. Um, That's amazing. Such a good shoe. Like, the, the materials were amazing. It it like fits so snug. Yeah. And, well, like, yeah. I really wish they had just a half size up. I just needed a 12. They had an 11 yeah. and a half. I think. Oh. Yeah. Um. Ostrich leather, quilted leather, like these are all things that like get me just by themselves and then you team them up and I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. all about that. <laughs> you got the, uh, yeah, got the uh, gold eagle up top, represent the, uh, oh yeah, go to the closer with that. Yeah, let's flip through there, should be in here, bam. Hood ornament. <laughs> straight up. Damn straight. Yeah, slowly go back through that again. Yeah, the, the way you put the outsole inside the cups is crazy. Are oh, we talking about the air canister instead of the girl? Yeah, there you go. Uh, and actually, the, the base mask is... Uh, it was an Iron Man mask. Combined with a respirator, and I think all of that went on to a bigger, more like just kind of basic structure structure mask. So three different masks went into it, just the base, and then one pair of shoes. Um, it's probably and then, it's only one pair. Well, it's hey, so that, much material yeah. because if you think about the like inner sock the zip up yeah. like sleeve that uh, that comes with them too. 
Yeah, and those th those are things that really make this for me. The zippers, these buckles and straps, and yeah, it's really really detailed. Shoe. Gives me a lot to work with. Yeah, dude. Because if someone wasn't that aware of the shoe, like they would think that you added all that shit almost. Well, in, it, in, it looks in so hindsight, like, with like you know like a functional gas mask, like pulling it up tight. I should have a slide up here of the uh, of the shoe that we could show them next time. Next time. Uh, that's it for that, except for the amazing illustration by Chris B. Murray. Uh, so I commissioned him. I'm a big fan of his work. He uh, has a series called Rap Kings that. I just I can't get enough of uh, some of my favorite MCs uh, illustrated in a really really cool style, and so for this I, I reached out to him in order to uh, bring the the ghost face mask to life because ideally I'd like to photograph this mask with ghost, like hell yeah I mean yeah, that's the anything situation. else would just be. Like somebody trying to imitate Ghost, and that don't feel right. So I'm holding on to this piece until that day comes. And in the meantime, we get to enjoy this 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 crazy crazy piece. Uh, again, they got the you know gold eagle on the on the wrist that Chris put there, with the uh, the gold woo beehive medallion Iron Man belt buckle Tony <laughs> embroidered on the Dude, jacket, fur lined the ghost forefinger ring, the heads up display with the extra butter in there. I mean, and then like the mask looks great. Like yeah, with that jacket. Too. Yeah. Yeah, like, I'm going to have to somehow find this exact wardrobe if we do ever get the chance to shoot with ghosts, because that's, that's all I see now. So, shout out to Chris B. Murray. Make sure you give him a follow on Instagram. I got links up on my blog, so you can find them. Or uh, check my IG. I've tagged him a bunch, too. So, shout out, nice. Chris. Great work. Uh, let's see. What else? Did we did we go through all our slides for the, for the episode? Did you get a picture of those KDs? I did not get a picture of the KDs. What I did get a picture of were these cloud white 350s. How do you feel about these? I know you're not a uh, Yeezy guy, but I know you're a cloud guy. I'm a cloud guy, but yeah, that, no. That doesn't that do doesn't, anything? That doesn't strike me as the I'm cloud. not a blue guy, and those are doing something for me, so I might try to try to go after those. But I, I, I think I'd rather have the clay, so yeah, I, I have like to have the clay first. I do like my Wave Runners. I, do, I ended up liking those a lot. Uh, and I right. am well, I, super, you're not super a, intrigued by the basketball shoe. I would never say that you're a Yeezy hater. It's just not your no, the, A lot of main the models just haven't been my stream. thing. Like right. My thing. right, right. But I like my like Blink Yeezy ones, the Nikes, like, yeah, the biggest fan ever. Yeah. That was a big moment. I haven't seen you wear those. Ever? Uh, I don't know that I have. You could, you could prove me wrong. Because I, I, I got a little bit of a bad memory when it comes I've to that. I wore them in the last year and a half, probably. I believe it. I believe my it. foot grew. Oh, so, so the they tight. don't... They're tight. They're tight. Yeah, but I can... They're, they were so what size big. Are they? they were a size 10, I think. Holy But shit. they ran so big that when I was... Back then, I was like an 11. Uh, so it fit just fine because it was so big. I can still make it work. I can still make it yeah. work. <laughs> you gotta trim your toenails first, though. You need all the help you can get. Let's not talk about my toenails. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not talk about my. Fair enough. Uh, all right. But you are interested in those Nike KD. Yeah, the black cement. Um, hundred percent. You got an Instagram on here. Go for it. All right, but. While you're thinking of that, what about the biotech dunks? You said you were I, you were you were excited. Well, for like those, yeah, right? I just didn't ever think they would. Like I thought those were like too sacred. Like oh, those are just like. Do you think they're gonna actually re-release them exactly like that in the lows, or you think they're gonna flip them in the highs? I hope not. Because you prefer I don't the mean, lows. Yeah, I, I would prefer a low, just because it is that that classic shoe. I remember seeing the first couple times I see those, I was like, oh shit. This guy knows what's up. The 
pull that up. On. What's that? Sneaker news. Can you take them? No. No. We didn't have a slide for the Versace. We got those right here. Yeah, bring those up. Is it, it's not gonna. It's not gonna like that, is it? Oh no. How's that look? It stays like vertical, but yeah. So these. Well, your, what's your take on these? I love the chain reaction. I mean, the soul has me. Period. Um, I would say, and I think I didn't. It didn't bother me until you pointed it out with the the nude tongue that kind of looks yeah, like the J Lo. Yeah, J-Lo now skin lining. These and are tongue, it's a little weird. These are J Lo sneakers. But uh, in general, I love green. And I know. Like, I love I'm the print. I love the floral the print. Uh, and I'm picky about my greens, and I think this is a great green. So, and shout out to Leahy. He, uh, he did a great job designing these. And oh, and this is a concepts collab on top of that. So that's pretty yeah. cool to see. They always do solid shit. Yeah. Um, but it's wild to see them do like a Versace collab. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Very cool to see. Uh, but we're out here for these. I like these, and and uh, seeing your IDs, um, I'm pretty pretty impressed with the the shoe overall, um, and I'm not always won over by black cement renditions on other sneakers. It's got to be pretty close, like the Roger Federer's. Yeah. Um, but even then, like if it if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Uh, the uh, our audio guy is super into tennis. Oh, <laughs> and is all excited over there just by the mention of oh, Roger right. Federer's name. <laughs> I need to pick up the Atmos colorway of uh, of the Federer's. Oh yeah, yeah, the the teal. The jade. Yeah, yeah, jade. Jade yeah. is the word. Um, yeah. but these KD twelves and Are the those black here right cement. Now? Do we have those in? I the feel like they're like yeah, over your shoulder yeah. somewhere. So I'm mildly like scanning. Can you do some scanning for us? Oh, there they are, Dano. Top yeah. right, top shelf. Yeah. Fucking Scooby Snacks. Man, stop. Shout out Ivan. He just got some gems sitting on the set behind us. He also plays tennis. Yeah, I need but not in these yet. These. These definitely are not worn yet. They look tried on. I love the uh, tumbled leather on the tongue. They look tried on. <laughs> they appear to be uh, tried on. Yeah. Beauties. Yeah, exactly. This is not fresh enough. Trying to zoom in here. Of course, I got the cement speckle tongue, right? But the, or I'm sorry, swoosh. Speckle on the swoosh and the midsole, but the tongue looks like maybe like a little elephant print vibe. Does that look about right? Yeah. You getting a little elephant print vibe from that? Yeah, these are not for me. Not for you at all? Yeah. Well, you don't like black shoes but then you That's not design true. yeah i got i've been getting a You don't like black, black sold shoes. shoes. Yeah, but i just got my KDs are pretty fucking dark, dude. They're Yeah. Like, I get that. And now our audio guy is texting me about Wimbledon. Jesus Christ. <laughs> we will get better. <laughs> we will get better. Good. All right. What else we got? Um all right, let's get into UV reactive material stuff because that seems to be everywhere right now. Because it's 93. Okay. <laughs> uh, f- who is the first? I mean, like, I remember uh, there's an Air Max one that was, like, all white, and then when you went out in the sun, it would the mud guard would turn blue. Mm-hmm. It would look, you know, close to, like, an OG blue one. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then since, I, like, I've purchased a pair of Air Force Ones, that has like Nike Air logos that appear in the sun. 
Really? It doesn't I haven't said Alec DeMarco. Drew oh, on. the yeah. uh, the Volt and the like infrared joints. Yeah. I did not know that. I don't think I paid any attention to that detail. Because you haven't seen him outside, probably. Most yeah. likely, yeah. Uh, but yeah, and so we saw that post from Jeff Staple, you know, playing with like that the Air, Force Air Force One, One. at some point. Right. Uh, but there's also like heat reactive and like mm-hmm. water and and there's been customizers uh, doing it, of course. For, yeah, for it's some just time everywhere. Now. It is. Uh, now they're releasing Converse, right? A China yeah. Ta- Chinatown Market. Yeah. I think situation. we did see that as well. Oh, look at this. Frankie brought himself Shake Shack. <laughs> Good. Uh, look, look at him. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> All right. So, oh, yeah, we were talking about the biotech dunks. Yeah. Uh, you said you're excited for those. Uh, I, not, not for me. Thanks, Frankie. <laughs> Fried no, delivery. The, we're talking about biotech skin. I want to go back to the UV stuff. Okay. Uh, no, shout out to Sneaker Steve, who you know with Alice Gray. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's doing one of those two. What is it? The Falcon. I think it's the name of that new model of his with the UV reactor stuff. Get that out of here. Yeah, thanks, Frankie, but uh, I'm not going to be able to talk and eat these at the same time. About to choke me down. I'm I appreciate it, though. Enough. Yeah, good looks. Good looks. Yeah, but what's your take on you? Th- these things excite you. What do you want to see more of, less of? How do you want to see it used? Um, it doesn't do much for me. I've used some of the pigments myself. Uh... And I honestly, I didn't get the same effect that I see other people getting. So I know that there's some very cool stuff that can be done. Um, it doesn't do much for me. Like, I think in the in the way that you described the Air Force One pair, where maybe it's just a little swoosh on the on the tongue. I like that. I like no, it's it like as a, pattern a pattern detail. Of Nike Air logos all mm. over it, almost like that red pair. That I brought in that has the white Nike here. Really? Over, over the whole but shoe? Like, it just comes out in the sun. Over the whole shoe? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah, see, I don't, I, that's not how I would, I would play it. But like, I mean. Should we just grab the shoe right now? And yeah. You have a grab, UV light, right? I do. All right, let's do this really quick. Yeah, you want to, you know where the wand is? Yeah. Bet. So while Dano's doing that, and Frankie's Frankie's eating this. Uh, let's see, what else did I do this week? I, I cut down the uh, uh, Mars yard shoe or overshoe. Uh, I cut the uh, sleeve off for uh, our homie uh, Philip Zito. Working on mass number 200. We uh, finally finished the 3D prints for the Falcor mass. Uh, we got the 30th anniversary coming up uh, July 20th of Never Ending Story. Uh, so I'll be sharing a little bit more of our process making that piece on the 20th. And here comes Dano with the UV light and reactive sneakers. Shout out Alex Marco. Yeah, he killed this. Getting down on these. This is a beautiful custom. All right, so let's. Where where is this? It's happening. I I do I see it coming through. I see it coming through. Like. I don't want to knock it. It just doesn't do anything for me. Like. It yeah, feels, it feel, it's subtle, which I, you know, that's, that's good. Um, that's, good. <laughs> that's good. It, okay, look, here's the thing. Like, I live in a glass house in this scenario because if it glows in the dark, I fucking want it. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is just a different flavor and it's just not my flavor. Um, but I love that pair and I, yeah, I don't I think it needs to, that. Yeah. It doesn't. 
that that effect doesn't make me not want to get a pair just like that pair. <laughs> so, um, it, eh, eh, meh. I hear you. All right. Let's just pull something up here. And uh, Cool Gray 4s, that's a classic coming back out, right? How you yeah, feel about so the those? same way you feel about the other ones, I feel about these. Meh. 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 Uh, I do prefer. Oop. <laughs> I do prefer <laughs> a, uh, a Jordan 4 with the fabric wings and tongue. Or uh, not tongue, uh, heel tab. See. Oh, the PG threes, the NASA moon landing. Joints. So the first ones, I really liked the orange and blue ones, and I've seen them in person. Every time I see them in person, I'm like, I wish I got a pair of those. It looks so sick. This pair, like, I don't know. I guess, I guess I gotta think of what I might do with this pair, mask wise, because they're calling to me, but I don't think I would wear them that regularly. Got inside out 98s coming. I need more 98s in my uh, collection, but I don't know that these are the ones that I would go after. These are the 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 pair on the left. It's got a kind of a cool colorway. A little speaking of Mars yard shoe, a little vibe like that, right? Oh, for sure, definitely. I can see what you're talking about. Um. That okay, so go to the go, wait, go to this color of oh, colorway. That is insane. <laughs> that that when 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 I see this picture and you tell me this shoe is called the Freak One, I'm like, yep, okay, I get that. Sure. Yeah. Sure. You went there. There it is. Uh, this is like a shoe that we've seen before, but this PE from Diana. Oh, Rossi. Did, yeah, we've definitely forgot to talk about this. Yeah, she has always had really dope. LeBron P's. This, and this pair is, just the latest. is a face melter. Yeah, one, you're, that's like almost your burgundy color, right? Yep, yep, that purpley burgundy joint is fire. And, and it's that like, light leopard. Or yeah, like, it is. like snow leopard with the, the teal air bubble yeah, and the, like and the blue three color, like yeah, face melters. Are, yeah. Face melters. And I have a pair with a big white uh, toe like that. Uh huh. That, and it looks amazing. The, the other leopard pair of these, the, the king ones. I have not worn my uh, LeBron 16 glows yet, but I might have to break those out tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Those look, are sick, dude. I can't wait to see you wear those. What you got on foot today, Dano? I got my Air Max 1. Atmos, right? I can never get enough of this. I order a second pair of these immediately. The, the height, uh, look, I, I can never have enough Atmos Air Max in the collection. So I need these. These have been pushed down my list as the height, you know, swells and wanes or whatever. But every time I see you wear these, I'm like, damn it, I need a pair. Damn it, I need a pair. Well, like, this kind of so harks back to much. our last episode. We're talking about the, the three pack coming out. Yeah. And here I am wearing all three. Yeah, materials. that is essentially yeah. A nest. I'm gonna be picking those up sh soon. I can tell. I can tell you that right now. Yeah, that red swoosh. Perfect. Should I uh, should I share? Oh, yeah, on yep, foot yep. there. Oh yeah, we're now back to the Nike ID thing again. Yeah, well, cause you know, you told me I can only bring three, and I said, "Fuck you, I'm gonna bring another." Pack. I did not say that. Oh. I said bring as many as you want. I was busting balls, but yeah, <laughs> uh, this is one of my favorite recent IDs that I did with a little olive and infrared pops, gold swoosh, a little profit ambigram, lace dubre lace lock on the front yeah, there. Yeah, sexy. Love these. Yeah, those are such a U colorway. 100%. 100%. When olive I get my chance for a sneaker collab, you can bet it's going to be some olive and infrared shit. Yeah. Moab. Moabs. Moabs. Yo, ass. 
the web for your ass. All right, cool. That's it. Yeah, I think that's what do you want to talk about these, or we just want to wrap it up. We're we having, we can just wrap it up. Yeah, that's it that's for this it. episode. We talked about enough shit this week. Yeah, thank you for you uh, tuned in. If you stuck around. Love y'all. Frankie's about to feed us. Yeah, I think so. That's pretty dope. All right. Uh, see you guys later.